Hey there, Nocturnes! Welcome back to English Me! Dito sa Nocturnal Sage, a guide for those left in the dark. Ako nga pala ulit, si Kuya Ed, ang inyong class president. Noong nakalaang meeting with Sir Jeremy, diniscuss niya yung tungkol sa managing fear pag nagsasalita. So sana, pagkatapos nyo na panood yun, eh medyo nabawasan na yung inyong kaba pag magsasalita. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, Check nyo yung suggestion at saka panoorin nyo para makarelate naman kayo sa sinasabi ko. Ngayong gabi naman, pag-aaralan natin kung papaano gumagana yung communication. Maraming nangyayari habang nakikipag-usap tayo sa isa't isa. Mas lalo na kung oral yung ating communication. Ngayong gabi, pag-aaralan natin yung scientific aspect. Tech, sige, sige, hindi siya, hindi siya scientific per se. Technical, o. Oh. Yung technical aspect ng communication. Para mas maunawaan natin, samahan nyo na ako sa ating klase. Oh, English me. Hello class, welcome back to another session in the dark. For this session, we're going to move on to a new topic, but before we do that, let's revisit what we have learned so far. We learned that the goal of communication is understanding our unique personalities and fear of speaking can influence the way we communicate. To further understand how these factors work, we will discuss each speech process component. At the end of this lesson, it is expected that you'll be able to do the following. You can describe each speech process component and you can show the interaction among these components based on their characteristics. We do not know, we're not aware all the time how these elements interact, but even if we're not aware, they work nonetheless. There could They could be the reason why, let's say, you had the misunderstanding with a parent or a sibling, etc. There are many books and articles written on the topic, but they have the same elements nonetheless. So this list that I'm going to show you is based on The Art of Public Speaking by Lucas S.E., the writer of this book. The first one is the sender or speaker. He or she is the one who communicates the message, the one who originates what is being said. Then we have the message, the information that the sender wishes to convey. So right now, I'm the sender or speaker, and then what I'm saying to you is the message. The channel is the way the message is delivered. Since we are on online distance learning, or if ever you're watching this during the time that it is, it is back to face-to-face -face classes, I am telling you my thoughts through the, this video. So my channel is YouTube. The channel can be done through one's voice or electronic devices like cell phones and microphones. Through this video, you can see that I'm using multiple channels. Aside from the video, I'm also using my microphone, the microphone of this laptop where I'm recording my voice. The receiver or listener is the one who interprets the sender's message, the one who's receiving it, and obviously it's you. The feedback the verbal or non-verbal replies that the listener gives to the sender. You may not know it, but you're already responding to what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be a direct thank you for the lecture or any other direct responses you can think of. Look at the picture here. What do you see? Amazed faces, right? Whenever you watch your favorite video or TV series or movie, when you witness, uh, let's say, a, a shocking scene, you have bodily gestures, right? You exhibit bodily reactions that you may or may not pay attention to. So that's the feedback. So right now, after knowing these lessons, the technicalities of communication, probably you're cringing or you, you form some wrinkles on your foreheads right now because you're trying to understand all these concepts. So those are the possible forms of feedback you're probably eliciting now behind your screens. The situation is the time and place in which the communicative event takes place. You are probably viewing this in the morning, but now I'm recording this in the evening. So the situation, the time and place in which this communication takes place depends on the time that you're viewing this, not at the time I'm recording this video, okay? It's always 
during the real time the exchange actually takes place. Then we have interference or noise. It's something that blocks the communication process, something that prevents the communication goal from being achieved. My goal is to help you understand the communication process. But obstacles that can stop you from understanding what I'm saying or an obstacle that can prevent my message from reaching you could be the intermittent internet connection. Probably you're struggling with that right now. So that's one form of interference or noise. It can also be physical. Let's say while you're watching this, you have companions at home who, who chat so loudly and you cannot find a quiet place where you live right now. Another could be psychological. Maybe you're just out of focus right now. You honestly find it hard to pay attention because you're probably overwhelmed or obsessed with something that I do not know. So that's interference. Anything that prevents us from reaching the goal of understanding. Now, can you imagine how these components interact? In the next episode, we're going to explore a concrete example. So continue surviving in the dark. Oh English me, oh English me, gusto kong matuto ng ingles pero hindi alam kung paano si Hey, you seem so quiet. Are you okay? Come on, you can speak up. It's okay, just just talk. Ano ang sasabihin mo? What's going through your mind right now? Uh, do you need more time to think? I can give you some space if you like. What do you like to talk about? Kung nagustuhan ninyo ang episode na ito, pakilike lang dyan sa baba. Tapos kung may questions kayo or suggestions kung paano improve yung ganitong lesson, mag-comment na lang din. Share nyo naman ang video na to. Mas maganda yung buong playlist sa mga kakilala ninyo nag-take ng oral com sa panahon ngayon. Alam nyo naman na kanya-kanya ng diskarte sa paghahanap ng reliable reference materials at kasama na dyan ang Nocturnal Siege kung naniniwala kayo reliable ito. Kung nangangailangan kayo ng support group para meron kayong makausap tungkol sa mga topics na hindi nyo basta-basta nauungkat sa mga pangkariniwan ninyong pakikipag-usap sa iba, sumali kayo ng Nocturne Space, yung link na sa baba. At higit sa lahat, mag-subscribe at itap nyo yung notification bell para hindi kayo mahuli sa anumang updates. New episodes every Tuesday at 8pm. Salamat sa panonood. Ako muli si Kuya N. Kita kit sa susunod na episode ng English Me dito sa Nocturnal Sage, a guide for those left in the dark.